Why does it seem to be so hard to get a mortgage these days? What we're talking about today on the East Central Business Show, I'm John Naylor, and I'm joined by a resident expert in mortgage lending, Laura Solana from Pod Financial. Good morning. Oh, it's a mouthful, <laughs> isn't it? We're going to have to work on that, I think. But anyway, um, now, mortgages, is it just me or is it getting harder to lend money these days? I, hmm. Yes, I would say that probably the environment that we're in is there's a lot more to consider in a mortgage now than possibly you know, when you might have got your last mortgage, I don't know when that was, but if, um, you know, nowadays there is more um, scrutiny over the people that we're giving money to. Okay. The lenders are more interested in who you are. Okay. Yeah. And, and what's that been driven by? Is it, we hear about these guys at APRA, I don't know who they are, I thought it was an <laughs> actors guild or something, but <laughs> I think they're somehow involved otherwise in the mortgage industry. So they're, they're the regulatory, they're the prudential regulatory authority that kind of um, make sure I guess in layman's terms that people are safe, that, mm. the, that the lending institutes, um, institutions are um, working in parameters that are sustainable, okay. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, they, they're very interested in what the lenders are doing. Here's an interesting question, did they even exist before the crisis, you know? In APRA? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is like I guess the what you're referring to there is the GFC. Yeah, okay, yeah, which is right. nearly a decade old. But anyway, it's still like it's amazing that that's still referred to commonly or mm. often. Um, and I guess the thing that um, happened during that time was that there were lending practices, not so much in Australia but certainly overseas, that were really worrisome. Like mm. people were, you know, they basically. Lenders were giving money to people who probably shouldn't have had loans. And the impact of that um, has been astronomical worldwide. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, truly. We, you know, for those of us old enough to have participated financially or had mortgages or in business at that time, I mean, it, was, it was a really dark time. I guess we're in a very positive time at the moment, which leaves me a little bit worried in myself. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, back to the question of, of, of getting a mortgage these days. So you really need to consolidate yourself or really steel yourself against this process here yeah, because there's going to be quite a bit of paperwork to do, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They, there is a lot of um, documentation that we do need to request and do need to obtain for a client when we're doing um, an assessment to see how they qualify for a mortgage. And the reason for that is because there's so much more um, focus now on responsible lending mm -hmm. and that's particularly since the GFC. So we need to make sure that when we're putting people into a loan that they can actually afford it and that it's not going to place them into financial difficulty. And we, the standard, the, the legal standard is that we verify their information. Mm. So we actually need to go through the documentation and look at it and make sure that we verify things like living expenses and things like income and all of that type of stuff. So it does probably seem more difficult. Mm. Um, I think that that's come about to try and make sure that the economy stays safe and that people stay safe within that environment. Yeah, well that's the thing, I, I was joking about it off camera, it's almost as though you should be congratulated or, or receive an order of Australia these days if you can get a, a mortgage. I mean, You're doing pretty well, <laughs> yeah. Well that's right, yeah. but, but at the same time it's, it's a worthwhile thing to have property and portfolio type things, so that means getting mortgages typically. Yes. And, but, there's the mission, I guess, and, the, and actually the, the importance of working with a broker over a period of time to build that story, yeah? I would definitely be doing, well, I'm biased, but I would definitely be doing that. And the, the reason is because the lending environment is, is complex in nature anyway. Mm. Like, it's already a complex beast. Mm. Um, and so to have somebody help you navigate through that spaghetti, mm. <laughs> yes, I think is... is crucial mm. you know and you're not necessarily going to get that from the bank because they have a vested interest in well they can't give you um advice that is outside of their own product suite they just oh, can't okay and so you're going to you know that that's their limit mm. so by going to a broker you do actually get somebody who who can look at your entire scenario mm -hmm. and go okay well this lender won't work but this one probably suits your circumstances better. Yes, and I know personally, particular lenders do prefer types, types of professions and businesses and types of clients. Yeah. Yeah, and they all they softly, softly, but yeah. Yeah, well, they have their preferred um, niches and things that they do, mm. and they have their different policies that will fit different people. And so our job is to know that, 
is yeah. to work out how to match people with a lender that will work for them. So, um, you know, is it more difficult to get a mortgage? I think that if you were um, trying to do it yourself without support, yeah, mm. I think you would have a tough time. Oh, I couldn't even comprehend the, <laughs> the concept of like shopping the lenders on my own. I, you know, a little, it's, it's too a bit time of, consuming. Spent a bit of time mortgage working myself. It's like I come to appreciate that you know, the ability to use the various tools you guys have at access, even drill down and, and yeah. get some really quick answers on, yeah. on things. But that's, I guess, the, the ending point for me, and this is the, the days of going into the branch and signing three copies, press hard. No. Um, a oh, long gone. 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 <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's obviously a lovely reason, a real good reason to, to contact Laura Solana from Pod Financial. How do they get in contact with you, Laura? Great. Um, you can call me on mobile, 0422 320 497, or also email through to the office, home at podfinancial.com.au. Oh, fabulous. Okay, another great interview. Another great uh, set of information from uh, Laura Solana, the resident expert in mortgage lending on the East Central Business Show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching another episode of the East Central Business Show. What we're doing on the East Central Business Show is we're bringing you business leaders and the best of the knowledge. We want to bring them on the show and release that content so that that's something that we can share with you by this easy to consume format. So you can follow us across LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google+, or just regularly visit the eCentral.com.au slash show website, pick out the best things for you, and educate yourself on that premise. Now there's video content there for you, so you can just watch the video and, and, and inform yourself in your own time. We've also now podcasting that content as well, so it's really simple to consume. You can listen to it on the way to work in the car or during your daily exercise regime. Beyond that, we're also looking to connect with business experts. So if you consider yourself to be a, an expert in your field, please make contact so we can schedule you in and have you come on the show. Uh, so you can release your content and increase your brand across our format. Uh, beyond that, we also invite people to send us their email address so we can send you our monthly magazine. And that's just the best of the content, the best of the videos for the month. Put out an, uh, once again in an email, arrives in your inbox, so you can just go through and pick out the things that are really going to educate you and get advance you in your field of expertise and in business. We're a business-focused show. So thank you very much once again for watching, and we'll see you next time.